Thanks friends. These birds are ready to be processed. In here we have the white ones are the Cornish cross. Whoa, what are you doing pecking me? Did you see that? <laughs> and the one that just pecked me there is a ginger broiler and we may have a couple of big red broilers in there as well. But these guys are, for the most part, are ready to be processed. And we're not gonna process them today though. It's gonna be for next time. We got some other projects that we have happening around here today. But uh, looks like for the most part, they have done very well. A cor the Cornish cross is definitely, as you can see, definitely have more size on them than some of the other ones like the ginger broiler here. Got some size on it. It'll be a somewhat decent meat bird, but the Cornish cross definitely, definitely has a lot more meat on them. And I received them all at the same time from chicks and we've just been raising them here in the chicken tractor and then just moving them on the fresh grass each day. Gives them an opportunity to eat bugs, grass, as well as has the opportunity to get some good sunshine. And these smaller ones here are just gonna be some layer birds that we're gonna be moving into another flock. So we'll separate them when processing time comes for the other ones. Well, this is one chicken tractor that we have of meat birds. Next, I'm gonna head up and move some of our other birds. Well, can't forget these. And you hear that? And we also have one too many roosters. We're gonna have to process a couple roosters when on processing day two. Can't have too many of them around. Start beating up the ladies. We'll just set these down for now. We'll get some other feeders and waterers. Good morning. Ideally, it would be great if all of my chicken tractors were right next to each other and I could just move them together one right after another efficiently and effectively kind of like they do at polyface farm however that's not the reality here because we don't have a lot of pasture area to move our animals around in these, in these chicken tractors here so we just have to be creative and move them in various places like these right here these black jersey giants which are the size is nowhere near the cornish crosses and not even the, the ginger broilers yet but we're working with them. They're supposed to be a little bit longer to reach their maturity as far as weight. So we won't process them when we process the other ones, but uh, we'll give them a little bit more time. But right now I'm just moving them around in the grass areas that we have. Right here in the garden, we have sunflowers that we recently transplanted here. So I'm just gonna move them right alongside the sunflowers. Sorry about that. You ready to move? Here we go. These guys are a little bit more skittish and more timid than some of the other ones down there. It's one of the things that I've noticed as far as the difference in raising them. But uh, they don't eat as much feed either. They still forage pretty good, but they don't go through as much feed. So there's the benefit there. But uh, they do take a little bit longer to raise. All right, we're moving. Sorry, I tricked you, did a little pump fake there. Still moving, there you go, right on to that grass. Right on. Here we go, right on the grass, we're moving forward. So you can see the difference of where they were just now, right in here in this area, this rectangle area. And they ate the grass and they pooped and added whatever else they had to it. <laughs> but then you can see the taller grass around it where they weren't. And we'll let them enjoy this patch of grass for today. All right, let's get their water. And using this tray as a feeder. And these are the sunflowers that we recently transplanted from our goat area. And uh, they're doing really well for the most part. Especially, that was a pretty big surprise because that was a big one. And usually the bigger the plant, the harder it is to transplant it. But that one seems to have done well. All right, 
That was it. We have one more chicken tractor to go. And whenever I'm walking around the homestead from going from place to place, I try to just observe and, and check out and plants, check out, what's that? <laughs> check out the different things that are going on in the areas that I'm passing. So uh, just something to think about and try to multitask as I'm going. Well, here's our other chicken tractor up here, but uh, there's not chickens in here. Love the ducklings. You guys ready to move fresh grass too? All right, we're gonna move you. I still need to put some final touches on this chicken tractor or duck tractor actually but with the prices of wood and it's been really really hard to find cedar wood here recently because that's the wood we prefer to use because it's not pressure treated with anything it's just naturally water resistant and insect resistant so just have to keep looking and for their water I just use this mortar tub right here We'll leave it there and we'll fill it up. Feeder, too much time. Alrighty. So we'll fill up our feeders first. Micah! Son Micah is my water boy. He fills up the waters for me while I fill up the feeders. Hey man, good morning. Can you go ahead and fill up the waters for me? Yeah, just What you doing? Feed the cats? Yep. All right. Go ahead and feed them and then fill up the waters for me, okay? Wet feed. Yep. Don't feed the chickens the cat feed. You want not to go do that, are you? Yeah. <laughs> it's all I have. One of Micah's chores is feeding the cats. Recently, we were having a lot of issues with keeping track of these they would get moved all around the farm and I'd come around here and be like where are the scoops so I just decided to just tie drill a hole through the handle here and then tie <laughs> actually a shoestring two shoestring to our t feed tub here so that way these don't get missing because that was like getting annoying I'd be coming out here to do the chores and they weren't there so it's just a little thing that might come in handy for some of you who have traveling scoops There's all kind of ways that I get exercise in here. And one of the ways is walking. <laughs> so as Mike is filling up the waters up there, I'm gonna take the feed to the ducklings as well as to our Jersey Giants. You're done with both of them? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm eating my breakfast. Eat your breakfast then. 
Sometimes when it's on uneven ground, I just hang this right up here. Right that way the water won't spill out. And for moving the big water for the broilers, I like to use this right here. Lean on a little bit better. Tighten it up. Mike does a great job, doesn't he? Not strong enough quite yet to pull the lid on all the way. But you know what? He surprised me the other day because we were getting some feed and uh, there's this big 50 pound bags of feed. Most of them are 50 pound bags. And he was like, Daddy, I'm gonna get it. I was like, no, 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 don't get it. I'll get it. And he just went, grabbed it, loaded it up onto the car, and I was like, wow, you are a farm boy, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. You're just like right at 50 pounds. How could you pick up that 50 pound bag? Man, he's strong. <laughs> These waters are great because they can hold a lot more water in them. One thing to keep in mind though is make sure that you unscrew the top off of it from holding the pressure on so you can fill it up. Because if you don't, they won't get water. And uh, I made that mistake before. But with them carry, holding so much water, it could be a little bit, actually a lot heavier to carry around. So that's why we use the head truck. It's a good workout carrying this around. Those legs of bicep girls. All right, now that all the chores are done, it's time to move on to the main project or main task for this morning. And that is to move our layers, our composting chickens from the area that they've been making some good compost over to here where there's just some stuff growing, poison ivy, various vegetation, so they can clean it up and also start making us another compost pile. So we need to set up fencing here in this area and then we can open this fence up for them to move into. But even before we do that, we're gonna have to move this right here. This is the cage that Adam from Farm Life Outfitters let us borrow when we got Libby couple weeks ago so we need to return that to him because we plan to have dinner with him tonight so why not just take the cage with him with us so we're gonna do that and the ladies are here they help me out so uh at least if you give me a hand we're gonna load this into the back of the truck and good morning by the way good morning. is everybody doing all right today okay. good morning. <laughs> wow you got an extra loveliness today sailor way to go <laughs> All right, so we're gonna load this into the back of the truck and then we're gonna set the fence up here. And then after that, Lacey's gonna be busting out the skid steer because we're gonna be setting up a tote to automatically feed the chickens up here. Did I say feed? I meant provide them with water. Strap it down, of course, before we leave. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, hey, Michael. There's no skid steer here. I forgot my brother came and picked it up the other day to go use it. So did you hear what I said? What's that? There's no skid steer here today. Oh, man. <laughs> well, guess we'll have to use muscle power again. <laughs> Uh, and some of this too. <laughs> a little more of this than this sometimes. <laughs> Alright, well we can still get the job done. We still gotta move them. So uh, let's go ahead and let's get this fence set up and start moving them on over. Actually, some of this grass is higher than I thought it was. So let's see if Sayla will bring out the weed eater and knock some of this down for us. We don't want it touching our fence. 
Hey, Salo, will you use the weed eater for me? Yes, sir, Daddy. Thanks. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and weed right alongside here so that way we can put our fence down without having all this come into contact with our fence grounding it out. Uh, decreasing the shock. We still want it to have the shock. So, knock it out. Look at that focus she has. She's got the other tiger. <laughs> So we got a little bit derailed there for a minute. We had a little minor disaster, but I'm gonna share that in another video. So there's nothing related to do this video. It's just sometimes just all kind of stuff happens throughout our day here, but uh, it doesn't relate to this video. So I'm, you're just gotta stay tuned for the next video to see what happened. But uh, got the fence set up and this is just a toilet that <laughs> oh, we've been needing to get rid of for some time now. So now, what better time to get rid of it than right now? All right, so it's time to release the chickens. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this gate up. Micah and I are gonna take the fence, push it down so they can come through while Josiah is working on encouraging them to come this way. And Sayla's just gonna stand there and look pretty, right Sayla? <laughs> now she's actually gonna keep them from going out towards the garden that way. So here we go. Take one out. Take it out. Push it down. There we go. Come on, Josiah. Encourage him to come on out. There we go. Yep, Micah, stay right there. Yep. Keep your hands out. Get the rooster, get the rooster, get the rooster. No, no, just keep your hands out. Go, Josiah. Go behind him and encourage him to come. Here we go. You're doing a good job over there, Micah. Doing a good job, Micah. You got a chicken there? Good job, Micah. Keep working on Keep your hands up. Well, 
That got a little crazy at times, but we got it done. So that is our oldest chicken, chickshaw that we have here. Definitely need to make upgrades on it. Well, well, well past overdue, but just have to work on that here really soon. And then I need to make some adjustments on our nesting box too to make it more mobile. So just another project on the list of things to do. So next, if the skid steer was here, I was gonna have Lacey take it with a bucket on it and just scoop everything that the chickens have been working on in here just to a big pile and to let it sit and just heat up and then be ready to use the compost pile uh, in a few months but uh, can't use it right now so just have to let it be and come back to it another day Whew, but we're definitely glad we got that done but uh, now we need to start cleaning up because uh, we're supposed to be getting together with Adam and Michelle and their family at Farm Life Outfitters uh, for meal today, so we need to be wrapping this up. We'll have to see you guys next time, and make sure you stay tuned for the next video after this one to see what happened, <laughs> the chaos that ensued. Uh, well, why we had to take a break and moving these chickens because of what happened, but you'll just have to wait and see on that one.